Jace Tano here. Look what we got today. We got a Terciops truncatus. That's for the scientists out there. Uh, this is actually a bottlenose dolphin, a skull of one. So that's about how big they are. This would probably be uh, an adult. Um, very interesting animal. This thing, when I walked up on it, it was you know halfway buried. So you can kind of see where the sand was right here. But it must have died and then uh, over time just kind of uh, degraded, um, broken down, decayed. And then this is the skull that you find. So this would be the top part of it. Uh, you can actually see the, the teeth holes here. So it'd be like this. And then you'd have another piece on the bottom, uh, jaw on the bottom. And they have these conical looking teeth uh, that go you know, in, into here. Uh, if we find... Actually, there's groups, I'll say the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network, you know, if you find a live one, you need to call the Texas Marine Mammal Stranding Network if you're in uh, Texas. If you're in Florida, call the Florida one, uh, and so on. Uh, but a lot of people think that this might be a porpoise, but really, in the Gulf of Mexico, we don't have porpoise. So that's really, you get it to the East Coast, you start finding the porpoise. Uh, we have the bottlenose dolphin, and so you can, maybe that's one piece, one little fact there that you can tell your friends. Uh, there's about 600,000 of these dolphins around the world. And so uh, they're pretty common. You've probably seen them. They're real playful. They can be in the waves uh, in front of ships. They, they're jumping in front of ships. So uh, they feed on fish and squid, you know, mm, yummy stuff like that. Uh, I guess that's about it uh, for these. Just wanted to show you what this looks like in case you walk up on it. Uh, very interesting animal. Uh, the other thing is you don't want to get too playful with them. So uh, they're known for being friendly coming up to the boat and stuff, but you don't want them uh, getting used to people because they are wild animals. Uh, bad things happen whenever uh, wild animals become used to humans. And so, uh, you know, don't, don't try to feed them Cheetos or anything like that. Just kind of observe them, take photos, and, uh, you know, enjoy the, the beauty. Um, okay, that's it for this episode of Beachcombing. If you have any questions about uh, anything we didn't uh, answer about these, feel free to put them in the comments, and uh, we'll get back to you on those. All right, thanks. Bye.